we've got all the gear here, listen. I'll tell you later. <laughs> but it was a great day. <laughs> Else that is good. All we need. That is good. Performance plus. Performance. <laughs> Nearly. The Godfather. Tell us about the weekend. Come on, Nearly. We know racing this weekend. I haven't got time for it. Oh. Far too much. Far too much. I've got a heat it. And the Godfather. Here we are, boys. Last round. What have we got? Wet day. Waiting. Not that waiting, wet. waiting. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have called it that wet. It's not that wet underfoot, is it? No, it's not, no, it's not bad at all. Yeah, what, are we, what do you reckon will happen today, guys? Waiting. <laughs> and, 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 and tomorrow, tomorrow they'll be waiting as well. <laughs> which is not much different to the last round. Or the round before. <laughs> and they're the words from the Godfather there. What about there was one part in it which I really, really enjoyed. It made a lot of sense. And that was when he said thanks very much and finished. I thought the finish was the best part of the speech. Now, we'll just have a look, ladies and gentlemen, at the team. 5.15 in the morning, nice early start. We'll see who's up and about. Oh, the godfather's in bed. Fast asleep after a nice quiet night, a couple of reds, sleeping on the couch. Look, there's no old growth forest within 50 kilometres of this place anymore. <laughs> it's all been levelled. <laughs> now you understand why the driver, Mr. Hansen, put the Godfather in with us last night. Why would that be? <laughs> Smooth team always does it well, don't they? That's right, that's right. The Smooth team were on fire last night. Well, the ugly one was who? Oh, Nearly. I think, oh. the, I think the Godfather has got a few questions to answer. <laughs> Godfather was uh, was uh, up to his usual tricks, but that's all right. Obviously, he's uh, hasn't had a best on ground for a while, Godfather, so he's probably looking for three votes this week. Yeah, yeah, and he's won them so far, mate. Oh, look, he's, he's picked up 50 touches in a tough <laughs> Everybody's got an opinion, and of course, the only one that's right is mine, or in your particular case, yours, what we've got there. And uh, I've been reduced to cleaning up the trailer after a bumpy trip in and making the coffee for everybody. That's as, as technical as I get, the coffee boy. Uh, tell us that last section. Walk us through it. Uh, yeah, it was a real tough last section. Was... Moving like the speed of sound. Stepping forward for a question. What about Darren? Darren was out on the fink. 
Give us your thoughts on what you missed out on, Darren. Oh, what I missed out on was being there. All right. I actually gave the boys a bit of a pep talk down at Fink in lieu of Darren, our leader's absence. <laughs> and I said, now listen here, you blokes. I want you to all pay attention. I didn't win two Australian championships <laughs> by having the wrong pressure on my tyres. <laughs> So I want you to get round there, do everything properly. Get those tyre pressures right. Get out the dipstick and check the fuel, the, the fuel levels. I didn't get four Australasian championships by having the wrong level in my fuel tank. And just, I want everybody, and, every, and are you listening to me? I want everybody to do it properly. I didn't win 13 <laughs> world championships by trying to blow up my bloody tyres with the fuel dipstick, did I? Now, come on, everybody. I want you to rally around. Finish first. First you must finish, your famous Neil Hansen once told me. <laughs> Things not going his way this weekend, unfortunately, for the Bentley's having a car day. Thank you for the I can't stop the keep blurring in my mind. The person was actually a Dutchman that was in the role. His name was DeWalt. <laughs> and he made this yellow... Rattle gun. Yes, it was his fault. The bloody Dwight. Beautiful. Never trust yeah. the Dutchman. They always say I've done it right. And I, you do it this way and I will do you know. Oh, they go on with all that. It's bullshit. Mr. Dwight did not tighten the nuts up. Well, hopefully that. you don't use. <laughs> well, <laughs> we'd all like to think that he could go to the toilet and lose 14 kilos. But, you know, and I hate to, to be so crass. And, and but, for the people that have, don't know about this, but, we've just discovered that the navigator is overweight. Yes, I know, but... We can rectify those know, problems. Uh, you know, how much does a brick weigh? Nine Say pa- brick. A brick. Nine, <laughs> nine, nine pounds, isn't it? Two bricks is 18 pounds. And that's about the equivalent of 14 kilos. You know, it's a... It's a huge shit, isn't it, to pass? Shit, yeah. a brick, as they, <laughs> shit a brick as they say. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that is actually where the expression came from, and you could, but to shit two bricks. No. <laughs> Back to the race. Back to the racing. Till tomorrow morning. Everybody, don't be late for the bus tomorrow. Seven. <laughs> so, what happened out there, Paul? Any German? Oh, yeah. Come on, Neil, you won't get out of the pit this time. Hey, Back to the racing. <laughs> Thanks, Neil. <laughs>